This lesson is about the revenue goal of taxation. There are generally three goals of taxation, efficiency, revenue, and equity. Revenue is clearly one of the primary goals of levying taxation. There are two aspects of the objective of, of achieving revenue that need to be taken account of. Avoiding the tax and evading the tax. The amount of tax that is due from any tax that is levied is the product of the average tax rate and the tax base. Levying the tax reduces the tax base because it disincentivizes people from carrying out the tax activity. So you're going to end up with a smaller amount of revenue than you would have gotten by simply multiplying the proposed average tax rate by the pre-tax tax base. Can you keep increasing the tax rate in order to keep raising revenue? When you raise a tax rate, it further shrinks the tax base. If it shrinks the tax base by less than the percentage, percentage points by which you have raised the tax rate, then you end up with more revenue. But it is equally possible that the tax base will shrink by more than the percentage points by which you have increased the tax rate. In which case, you end up with less revenue. We can see this visually by looking at the area that represents the total tax that is earned from any tax. So we show the amount of tax and the effect of tax on the market by putting a gap equal to the tax per unit between the amount that purchasers pay and the amount that suppliers receive. That difference is the tax that is remitted to the tax authorities. So when the tax is levied, it reduces the amount that is traded, that is the tax is avoided by some people not consuming the activity or not producing the product. And then a smaller amount is traded. That smaller amount that remains being traded, being carried out, multiplied by the tax per unit, gives us the amount of the tax revenue. We can see that if we start off with a small tax on this market, then as we increase the tax rate, tax revenue likely rises. But there comes a point beyond which further increases in the tax rate shrink the total tax revenue. That's because the market gets so small that you are taxing a very small amount of activity. This relationship between the tax rate and the tax revenue that is earned is captured in what is called a Laffer curve named after the American economist, Arthur Laffer. We put total revenue, total tax revenue on the vertical axis and the tax rate, the average tax rate on the horizontal axis. When we first impose the tax, then we raise revenue, revenue goes up. And this will continue up to a point. But there comes a point beyond which further increases in the tax rate so discourage this product from being produced and consumed that tax revenue falls. And so the relationship between the tax rate and total tax revenue ends up being this inverted U-shape. And this captures the fact that when a tax is levied, it discourages
people from engaging in the taxable activity. The tax is avoided. But there's another problem. People who evade the tax, people who actually continue to engage in the activity, but evade remitting the tax that is due to the tax authorities. So the amount of tax that the authorities receive is not actually the product of only the tax rate and the tax base. It is also affected by the rate of compliance with the tax. When the tax rate goes up, it encourages more people to try to evade the responsibility, to hide that they have engaged in the activity so that they don't have to remit the tax. The compliance rate goes down as the tax rate goes up. So the amount of tax collected ends up being less than the amount of tax that is actually legally due. So to capture both of these, we make a distinction between tax avoidance and tax evasion. Tax avoidance is where the taxable activity is shunned in order not to occur the tax liability. This is legal. If a tax is levied on petrol and I don't drive my car, then, and, and therefore I don't purchase any petrol, then I don't owe the tax on petrol. Tax evasion is where the taxable activity is actually carried out, but the incurred liability is not remitted. Tax evasion is illegal. So maximizing tax revenue requires taxing activities that have a low elasticity of demand, such that little of the tax is avoided, and also activities that have a high compliance rate because they are easy to monitor. 